Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to explain image formation by concave mirror when the object is placed between center of curvature and focus. So concave mirror, center of curvature and pole. Here is our center of curvature and center of curvature and pole. And the line joining center of curvature and pole is called a principal axis. As per the case where I should place the object, I should place the object between C and F. So clearly the object is between center of curvature and focus of the mirror. Now we are going to draw the light rays to get the image position. The first ray, top of the object parallel to principal axis. So first incident ray and if any light ray parallel to principal axis falls on concave mirror, the reflected ray passes through which point passes through the focus. So I am joining point of incidence and focus and I am drawing the line. This will be the uh, first reflected ray. So first incident ray and the first uh, reflected ray. First uh, reflected ray. But to form the image, I need minimum two light rays. So I am taking one more light ray through the focus. If any light ray passes through the focus, the reflected ray will be parallel to principal axis. Now I am keeping the scale parallel to the principal axis and I am drawing the a reflected ray. Right. So this is a second incident ray and the one which we got down it is second a reflected rays. Second reflector ray and the first reflector ray. Now I need to identify the position of the image. Now if I look at the diagram, the two reflector rays are intersecting at this point. Where they are intersecting here, the two reflector rays are intersecting. So the image will form at the point of intersection of two reflector rays. So the image will form at the point of intersection of two reflector rays. drawn the image and I label it as image. Now we need to look at the characteristics of image. The first one is position of the image. Now if I observe the diagram, the object is between center of curvature and focus but I got the image beyond center of curvature. So I can confirm that the position of the image is beyond center of curvature beyond C or 2F because center of curvature is nothing but twice the focal length. Next, size of the image. Observe the size of the object and size of the image. Clearly we can say that the image is bigger than the object. It means it is a magnified image. The size of the object is magnified. Done. Now the last one we need to decide whether it is a real image or a virtual image. Last one is nature of the image. Now if I look at the diagram again, the converging rays are producing image. If the converging rays produces an image, it is called real image and real images are always inverted images. So the nature of the image is real and inverted. So these are the characteristics of image formed by the concave mirror when the object is placed between center of curvature and focus. First position of the image beyond center of curvature, size is magnified, nature of the image is real and inverted. Right. Now what type of questions you may expect in board exam or in your school exams? A spherical mirror produces a real and magnified image. So a real image means it is only possible with concave mirror because convex mirror always produces a virtual image because convex mirror produces a virtual image irrespective of position of the object. Only concave mirror will produce a real image and even it can produce a virtual image but virtual and magnified image. Here with this real word, with this real image characteristic, I identified it is a concave mirror. Now magnified image. If I want to get a real plus magnified image, for a concave mirror, 
where I should place the object. The object must be between center of curvature and the focus. So that the image will be beyond center of curvature. Cent the object is between focus and center of curvature. The image is beyond center of curvature. Next, second question. A spherical mirror of focal length 20 centimeters produces image on screen. Again, image on screen means which type of image I will get? It is a real image. Now, if it is a real image, which type of mirror it is? It is a concave mirror because only concave mirror will produce a real image. Right. Now, I am drawing the concave mirror, a rough diagram. Focus next center of curvature. What is the focal length of the mirror? 20. If focal length is 20, what about C value? It should be 40 because double the focal length. A spherical mirror of focal length 20 cm produces an image on screen placed at a distance 60 cm. So, where I place the screen at 60 cm. So, 60 cm means the image is beyond C. The image is beyond C. The image is beyond center of curvature. In order to get the image beyond center of curvature, I need to place the object between C and F. Now, if I calculate the object distance, first I should get negative because object is always placed left side of the pole. So, if it is left side, we should get negative value and the object distance should be more than 20, less than 40 then only the object will be between C and F. The object distance should be more than 20, less than 40. Then only it will be when the object is placed between C and F, then the image will get beyond center of curvature, which is at 60 centimeters. Hope you understood the case number 4 and please do watch my videos. Thank you everyone.